Hello. So let's start by trying to expand that thing out. Now that thing is actually cubic. How do I know it's a cubic? Well, cubic is of order three, which means it crosses the axis in three places. And those three roots, where it crosses the x-axis, come from three factors. Three factors there, three things being multiplied together, therefore I know it must be a cubic. So let's try and expand this thing out and see how it actually works. So, x plus 4 times x plus 2 plus x plus 5. Now, if this was two brackets, I could do that. I'm a pro at that. That's a quadratic. I can do it. I've been doing it for ages. But it's not. It's three. But that's fine. All I'm going to do is just leave one of them alone. Okay? So x plus 4 multiplied by my x plus 2 times x plus 5. That's what I'm going to work out multiplying. So what's x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 5? Imagine the x plus 4 wasn't there. So I'd get x squared, okay, plus 2x plus 5x, that's plus 7x. And then I get a 2 times a 5, which is a plus 10, okay? Now what I do is I expand everything in my first bracket with everything in my second bracket. But I can only do one thing at a time. So I can only multiply one thing in the first bracket with one thing in the second bracket. So I'm going to go x times x squared, which is going to give me x cubed. And then I'm going to do my x times my 7x, which is going to give me 7x squared. And then I'm finally going to do x times the last thing in my second bracket, which is x times 10. So it's going to be 10x. OK, cool. That's the x sorted with. Now I'm going to work out work with the 4. So 4 multiplied by my x squared is going to give me 4x squared. And then I'm going to do 4 multiplied by 7x. That's going to give me 4 times 7x. That's going to give me 28x, isn't it? And then I'm going to do 4 multiplied by 10. That's going to give me 40. And then all it's a case of now is just doing a little bit of tidying up to make it look nice. So x cubed. Uh, let's collect together my x squared. So I've got a 4x squared and then also a 7x squared. So I'm going to have 11x squared in total. OK, then I'm going to work with my x's. So I've got 10x and I've got 28x. So therefore, I'm going to have 38x. Oops, 38x. Uh, and then the 40 is just sitting there lonely on the end, just like that. So in other words, all I've done there is I've taken something which is factorised into something which isn't. I've taken it from factorised form into polynomial form, OK? But don't, don't neglect this middle step, this kind of intermediate step, if you like. Because basically, if I know what one of the factors of this cubic is, then I can put it in this form. I know it's going to look like something with a linear factor multiplied by a quadratic. OK, and I can totally work with factorising quadratics. I've been doing it for years. Then I can just put it straight back into my three factorised form. So basically, if I know, if I know what a factor is, if I know what a factor is, then I can work out the other thing, because it's just going to be a quadratic. Factorise that. Bob's your uncle. I've got three things being multiplied together to give me my three factors.